Are you tired of feeling controlled by the opinions of others? Or basing your self-worth on likes, shares and validation from people who don't really matter? If so, it's time to free yourself from this toxic need for approval through the timeless wisdom of Stoicism. The vast majority are imprisoned by fears, desires and dependence on others' judgments. But a rare few have mastered a code for unshakable inner peace and self-respect. The ancient Stoic philosophers cracked the secret. True fulfillment comes from looking inward, not outward. In this short video, you'll learn the eight Stoic keys to stop craving approval and start living life on your own terms. 1. The rarity of wise judgment. Your phone buzzes constantly with notifications full of judgments, likes, comments, shares trying to inflate or crush your ego. Yet as the Stoics knew, almost none of it is truly wise or worth heeding. Most people simply react based on impulse, not profound reasoning. They lack the depth to judge anything of real importance. For example, consider someone who criticizes you for starting a new business venture. If they're just a random person who hasn't built anything themselves, why would you seriously weigh their uninformed opinion? Or if someone judges your character based on a single post or comment, should you restructure your self-worth around their shallow, out-of-context impression? Of course not. The Stoics realize that among the endless chatter and noise of unsolicited judgments, only a tiny fraction hold any real value or insight. A Stoic philosopher might politely engage with others to make connections, but ultimately tunes out the babble of uninformed voices and amateur critics. As Marcus Aurelius said, how many have laid waste to your life when you weren't aware of what you were losing? Most external judgments deserve to be ignored because they lack true wisdom or perspective on your deepest self. 2. Prioritizing their rational principles. While most are consumed with chasing empty accolades, validation and adoration, Stoics have a radically different priority actualizing their reasoned virtues and principles through action. As Marcus Aurelius wrote, waste no more time arguing what a good person should be, be one. Stoic sages like Seneca, Musonius Rufus and Epictetus developed robust philosophical frameworks to govern their conduct and life outlooks. Thanks to their logical axioms and ethical teachings, they had an unwavering lodestar to guide their choices and behaviors. Pleasing the crowd or receiving their acclaim was utterly irrelevant compared to rigorously living their principles. If you believe in ideals like honesty, hard work, moderation and justice, would you really compromise them due to fear of mockery, confrontation or loss of status? Of course not. A person of true practical philosophy remains devoted to their reasoned codes and virtues, regardless of what reckless opinions blow their way on the winds of popular hysteria or ignorance. 3. Embracing life's challenges. The universe is change. Our life is what our thoughts make it, Aurelius reminds us. Most people unconsciously dread struggles or adversity because they worry about embarrassment, shame or ridicule from others. So they shrink from difficult challenges to protect their fragile egos and reputations. But the Stoics knew those obstacles provide unparalleled opportunities for growth. Anytime you're faced with an imposing challenge or injustice, you can cower in fear of judgments and petty scorn, or you can raise your standing through courageous exertion and upstanding conduct. From grueling physical trials to moral quandaries, Stoics excitedly embraced adversity as a welcome arena to practice fortitude, justice, self-control, and wisdom. As Seneca said, we are born puny and unquiet, but the virtue we have, we get through effort. Imagine how differently you'd operate in life if you stopped worrying about how every action, failure or struggle would look to others, and instead focused on rising with grit to meet each test honorably. True contentment comes not from cheap adulation, but from forging an unbreakable character tempered by real-world trials. 4. Finding Inner Wholeness Wealth consists not in having great possessions, but in having few wants, Epictetus taught his students. Most frantically chase money, status, power, relationships, and other externalities, hoping to find wholeness and fulfillment. But no object or person can ever complete you. That wholeness must be cultivated from within. The Stoic path centers on striving toward virtue, 
reasoned self-discipline and acceptance of one's circumstances in order to achieve eudaimonia, a state of profound inner flourishing and contentment. Rather than fickly seeking their happiness through other people's approval, Stoics develop self-mastery, where their equanimity comes from their own intentional cultivation of wisdom and character. If you find yourself seeking validation and worth through others' judgments, ask yourself, don't I inherently have value as a human simply by existing? Why does my self-respect require approval or adulation from others? Reconnect to those parts of you that are whole, those virtues that stand on their own. From that centered place, fame, accolades, praise and status become nice-to-haves, not desperately needed supplements to cover up inner deficiencies. 5. Objectivity toward events. As Marcus Aurelius reminded himself, the universe is change, our life is what our thoughts make it. While we can't control external circumstances, we have dominion over how we analyze and respond to events. Most people live buffeted by turbulent feelings and knee-jerk judgments imposed by their unmastered minds in the face of life's inevitable unpredictability. But Stoics strive for objectivity and truth. By cultivating the philosophical muscle of analyzing events with logic and reason, Stoics don't get rattled by unexpected upsets. While their friends might be thrown into emotional tailspins by loses, slights or insults, the sage stands unmoved by the shifting opinions and dramas. Instead, they examine the objective reality of a situation rather than the narratives people project onto it, then respond with intentionality and wisdom. If you find yourself swept up in outrage, sadness or fear over an event because of how it will look or what others will judge, consciously pause and ask yourself, what are the objective facts here, divorced from subjective perceptions? Refuse to grant those external judgments any power over your analysis. Stoic objectivity aims you at truth and ethical response. 6. Detachment from results. It's not what happens to you, but how you react that matters, Epictetus reminds us. Most people are imprisoned by obsessing over future outcomes, so they become paralyzed by anxiety over how peers will judge their results or actions. Will they fail or succeed? Will people respect them or mock them? Stoics recognize they control their choices and intentions, but not eventual outcomes, which are shaped by uncontrollable forces. Because of this, they aim to detach from needing specific results and instead focus solely on what is within their power, their reasoned judgments and conduct in each moment. For example, if you're working on an important project at your job, you can responsibly do your best work and efforts under your control. But ultimately, whether the launch is praised by management and media is not up to you. A Stoic detaches from worrying about that uncontrollable future outcome and instead simply moves through the process with wisdom and intentionality. That detachment from the need for public applause allows Stoic tranquility, regardless of eventual accolades or criticism. 7. Transcending others' limited views. People are not disturbed by things, but by their judgments about them, Aurelius wisely noted. Even those closest to us often judge our choices or selves through the distorting lens of their own ignorance, traumas and irrational premises. Their well-intentioned opinions and feedback, while perhaps coming from a good place, may simply reflect their personal limitations rather than wise truth. For example, a friend might think you're being reckless by leaving a corporate career to start a business, because their fears and hang-ups about security are clouding their judgment. Or a romantic partner might criticize you out of their own feelings of inadequacy, not because you're actually flawed. The Stoics realize that most personal feedback is simply someone else's subjective perceptions obscuring objectivity. Rather than reflexively internalizing such personal viewpoints as reality, Stoics instead appealed to higher reasoning and universal virtues beyond any one individual's biased vantage. By striving for principles like justice, integrity and truth over the prejudices of others' limited narratives, the Stoic transcends the need for ephemeral interpersonal approval. 8. Self-authorship of life. At their core, Stoics understood that they alone were the authors of their inner lives and self-valuations. No one else could decree their worth. As Marcus Aurelius reminds us, 
The universe is change. Our life is what our thoughts make it. Through intentionally cultivated character and resilience, the Stoic takes full responsibility for defining their identity through reason and virtuous living. Most people remain imprisoned, constantly adjusting their self-perceptions based on ephemeral external judgments that blow hot and cold. They let their sense of self get buffeted about by the shifting tides of praise or insults from others. But the sage remains grounded in an unshakable core philosophy about who they are and what matters most. For example, if your self-worth comes from being a devoted parent, no passing mockery about your clothing or job status can diminish that centerpiece of your identity. Or if you define yourself as an honest, hard-working person of integrity, no social media ridicule over small mistakes can contradict that core reality. The Stoics recognize that the worthiness of one's character cannot be dictated by others' often ignorant and contradictory judgments. True self-respect emerges from the monumental undertaking of intentionally authoring your own life story through reasoned choice and virtuous action. The opinions and attempts at approval or disapproval from others are just background noise compared to this powerful self-authorship. As the ancient Stoic Epictetus summarized, there is only one way to tranquility of mind and happiness. Cease to worry about things which are beyond the power of your will. If you turn your mind to no other point except cultivating your reason's ability to judge correctly, you will make progress. By following the eight keys of Stoicism, recognizing the rarity of wise judgment, prioritizing rational principles over approval, embracing challenges for growth, finding wholeness within, cultivating objectivity, detaching from outcomes, transcending limited viewpoints, and finally, authoring your identity through virtuous living. You free yourself from the shackles of needing others' approval and validation. You realize that most people's opinions and attempts at inflating or deflating your sense of self carry little true wisdom or weight. What ultimately matters is how you choose to apply your faculty of reason to analyze situations objectively. Respond with intentional integrity, aligned with your core philosophy, and take responsibility for authoring an ethical life story through your grounded virtues and actions. If you have made it this far, comment down below with the word 100% to confirm that you have received the knowledge from this video. For more interesting topics, make sure you watch the recommended video that you see on the screen right now. Thanks for watching.